Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another, another battle report. This time it's fancy battles again. Uh, 4,500 points, my Undying Dynasties versus the Sylvan Elves. Um, these are our lists. I'm using the same one as I did last time. Right, this is in preparation for a tournament that I'll be going to this weekend. And I'm facing Sylvan Elves, as I said. Uh, you can have a look at our lists here. We were playing counter thrust and hold the ground for scenario and deployment type. And I went first to deploy. We went back and forth a little bit, but then I dropped my army. Um, and as you can see, I have my chariots with an architect, the necropolis guard with another architect and the pharaoh, my archers with two hierarchs, the chapdis, and some scouts. And my opponent, uh, the core of his army is this. He has uh, some Thicket Beast uh, with a Shepherd, a Forest Guard with a Druid, two unit of Heath Hunters, uh, Heath Riders with the Heath Hunter upgrade, a Forest Eagle, an Avatar of Nature, who is a big problem for my army, uh, some Forest Rangers, a fairly big unit, and a small unit of Blade Dancers. And out on the flank you can see his Wild Huntsman and a Druid on an Eagle King. So overall a very uh, what a combat army actually some fast moving el elements but not really a, not really an avoidance army at all so that's appreciated so we're in for a pretty fun game here um, with some exciting combats actually um, so yeah hope you enjoy that um, I took the first turn and I moved up a little bit like so uh, cast some spells uh, among them I did cast um truth of time on my um necropolis guard shooting i launched a volley of uh bolts on the blade dancers but didn't kill anything um and then it was his his turn and he moved up the ticket beast fairly aggressively into the forest and move his own forest that is and he moved the other forest up into my face which i didn't really like uh, the rest of his army moved back a little bit actually uh, on, on my right flank, a bit wary of my uh, considerable charge range with the Necropolis Guard. And he moved the, up the Wild Huntsman and the Heath Hunters on my left flank. And the Heath Hunters unleashed a volley of uh, arrows on my scouts and obliterated the unit. And I should say in his magic phase he did get a lot of spells, or two buff spells on the Thicket Beast, making them a tough cookie to crack, uh, to say the least. Uh, so in my turn, I decided not to charge him. I continued, continued moving up, um, aiming to get the, uh, a firm grip on the objective. And I did move into the forest with my Necropolis Guard ever so slightly, just to make sure that you won't keep moving it. Um, my uh, um, chariots move up a little bit and unleash another volley on the blade dancer again doing nothing and uh, I cast some spells um, I did get unit in divergence through on this unit and killed I think three maybe four models and then uh, my uh, archery archers took off the rest so only four uh, left here. So that's pretty nice actually. Um, but it did pass both panic checks, um, which was a bit lucky for him. And then I think we'll focus in a bit on the right flank here, um, because my chariots and the blade dancers and the heath riders continu continue to dance around a little bit. I did get one more volley off on the blade dancers, um, and I killed two uh, or th maybe three of them. So uh, compensating a bit, but 12 arrows hitting on uh, 5 up, wounding on 4 up, and a, and a 6 plus Aegis, I should kill over 3 turns 5 of them, and I killed 3, so eh, not ideal. And then I moved up into my flank like this, uh, eventually. And then I tried a long charge, had an opportunity, um, as we can see here, I tried a long, long charge into his forest guard, he decided to flee. Uh, I needed a 10 on dice, I think, with Swift Stride and Reroll because I was on a hill. Um, and he decided to flee, so I redirected into the um, 
for strangers. Uh, needed a double six on the dice, and I didn't, didn't get it, so just stumbled forward a bit. And he took the opportunity and shot my flank. Rolled pretty well in the combat that follows. Uh, you can see he's managed to remove one of my shards by now uh, with shooting. And then uh, it's after one round of combat, this is what what's left of my unit, and then that was whittled down um, to nothing. They were ki killed. So let's get back into the center of the board. Uh, after I had moved up my the corpus guard just slightly into the forest, he decided to charge them with both the thicket uh, beast and the avatar of nature. Uh, fortunately for me, he failed with the avatar of nature, so only the thicket beast. He needed a Ten or something like that on yes two dice, so um, it was fairly unlikely. And I moved the um, noble forest eagle up in front of my shaftis to shaft them. And on the, the flank, he moved up with the wild huntsman aggressively and the remainder of the uh, heath hunters as well. And uh, this this put me in a Difficult spot, really, um, because he also cast healing waters on the wild huntsman uh, with the throne up, so a four up fortitude on them and a four up save base. So they were pretty tanky this turn. So I figured that I wouldn't be able to do any significant damage to them with shooting and magic. So I had to I had to stop them from charging my bunker, really. That was what was important. And if I had charged the eagle with my Shapti, I wouldn't be able to do that. Or, in hindsight, maybe if I did some shenanigans with reforms and stuff like that, but yeah, didn't feel like it. Uh, or, yeah, it did not occur to me, actually, I should be honest. Uh, so I reformed them like this, and in this position, position, the Wild Huntsmen are not able to charge my bunker. They can't, can wheel past the Shapti, but if they do, they miss my bunker. And the Huntsmen are in the front of my Shaptis, so if he charges them, I can take care of them. And the only downside is that his Forest Guard here up in the corner are in my flank. So he, uh, he can charge them into the flank of the Shaptis and the Huntsmen into the front. But to do that, he has to charge the Forest Eagle as well, so at least I get to kill that. Um, magic in this turn, I... Uh, was pretty lucky and got an ice and fire through on the wild, uh, no, not on the wild hunts, but the, the heath riders and killed the unit, uh, which was nice. He prioritized the spelling spells to help the um, Necropolis guard combat. And then I made a foolish mistake. I open fired uh, at the wild huntsman with my archers and was super excited when I got lucky and then uh, actually managed to, managed to sneak a wound through. So one of them was killed. And then I re we both realized actually uh, that this meant that he could now charge past the Shaptis and into my bunker because of the removed casualty. And so he did exactly that. And with magic, he even raised the one that I, I had killed. So they were. Uh, full strength when it came to fighting. Um, or maybe they weren't. Uh, no, no, I, I dispelled the throne, that's it, I think. Um, but he uh, still did a number on me, as you can see. <laughs> uh, both uh, High Arch killed and a bunch of archers as well. Um, so, rough times there. Uh, that was turn three that he killed my unit, uh, so from then on I, d I didn't have any magic. But let's go back to the center of uh, the table again, uh, the turn where he charged the uh, thicket based into my necropolis guard. He managed to cast forest embrace on his thicket uh, beast, and I only had truth of time on my unit, not really, really helpful in the combat. But he only managed to kill two of mine, and I killed two in, re in return. That sounds like a fair trade to me. Uh, my Pharaoh did surprisingly bad. He caused three wounds, but he, he managed to save uh, two of them on five up and divine attacks. So, so that was a bit lucky of him, and I was very disappointed in my, uh, disappointed in my awesome Pharaoh with the God Slayer and all. But still, I can't, can't complain. It's, uh, it looks pretty good for me right now. Uh, and then in my turn, I did cast uh, Ancestral Aid on them. Uh, as it would turn out, this is the last spell uh, that I cast. 
but it did uh, help a lot because and this is oh, I later forgot to take a picture but in the co in, uh, combat after I killed a lot of unit uh, unfortunately I killed so much that the pharaoh was moved out of base contact before he got the strike so he didn't do anything that turn again disappointing but I reformed him to be uh, in the center of the uh, two um, remaining models uh, one is the champion and one is the uh, shepherd. So making sure that he will be able to fight next turn at least. And then in his turn he charged the avatar of nature into the unit. Uh, and kept the eagle to redirect my shaptis. And um, yeah, and that's the turn of course that he charged the wild, hunts wild huntsman into my uh, archers as you can see. And he got stone skin on the avatar of nature, making sure I won't do any shenanigans on him. He was a bit worried that I would um, challenge him with the pharaoh, um, and since I had ancestral aid, there was a chance that he, my pharaoh would actually one-shot him. Um, not a big chance, but still, but with stone skin on him, he's pretty safe. Uh, I think it was the boosted version as well, I'm not sure. Um, but in the combat, I managed to kill the last two uh, thicket things. Um, my pharaoh did well. He did four wounds to the uh, thicket shepherd. So that was nice. Um, just what I needed. Uh, he did do two in return, however. And in a challenge between the architect and the uh, avatar of nature, we got a predictable result and uh, she was pummeled into the dirt or the ice rather um, so that was the end of her but i'm still ha hanging in there in the middle here and more impor importantly this was the end of his turn and i had just gotten rid of the uh, thicket east unit so now i i have two scoring scoring units and he only has one so i get a tick for this scenario of secondary objective so moving forward, he reformed to the middle of my unit, um, or no, rather I reformed to, the, to face him because I wanted to get more bodies into contact, uh, and the combat ensured, and, and he killed a few more of me. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why, why there wasn't a challenge in this turn, I can't, can't recall. Um, and I charged the uh, eagle with the sharp disc, killing it. Um, by now he had finished up the archers. And he charged them into my rear. What, ne necropolis guard. And he ma used magic. You can see the combat with the uh, shoyos going on. And his reformed or uh, um, rallied his uh, force guard by now as well. Um, with magic, he got back the losses on the um, on the wild huntsman. He had a killer magic face this turn. Um, I think the thing I don't think he rolled be below four on any die on any magic die that he used to cast. So it was a nasty piece of work that magic face, um, which then dis dissuaded me from charging his his. Uh, Forest guard uh, with the shop this later. And in this combat, he challenged my, my Faro, finally killing him. Uh, I did get the strike, but didn't do anything. Um, he had some buffs this turn as well, so I wasn't expecting anything. And he killed a bunch with the uh, Wild Huntsman. I killed a few in return, but I still stood. Um, the Terracotta are still very, very tanky, so that's nice. Um, yeah, con combat continued in the, into the next turn, and in that turn I actually managed to kill the remaining Huntsman. Um, he didn't do much with them, with being only strength 4 this turn, and uh, I got to kill him in return. And then the uh, Avatar of Nature stomped a lot. I don't think he rolled before maybe below 4 on any of his uh, um, D6 stomps. So now the unit unit was swindled down, and after after unstable, there was just the, the banner bearer left, uh, standing valiantly against the the monster, uh, which was 
good, I guess. Um, by now, I had managed to rake, uh, uh, to get ahead on the objective fairly well, so I was gonna win that um, almost certainly. Uh, I did have a chance to charge uh, in this situation to charge uh, my my um, Shaptis into his Avatar of Nature. But then he would get a flank charge with the forest guard. I still would have gotten the objective by, by now, but um, uh, I would definitely lose the unit if I did that and it didn't pan out. Sure, I could get lucky and kill the avatar of nature, um, but it didn't seem likely. So instead, he charged me, and he managed to get uh, some spells through, awaken the beast on the forest guard, and then in the combat, he killed a bunch of me. I killed a bunch of him. I actually, actually managed to win the combat by one because I killed so many Forest Guard. And the Forest Guard broke, uh, ran from com combat. The Avatar of Nature didn't, of course. Uh, of course, they had both had Discipline 9, no reroll. Um, or uh, 8, I guess, because I lost by one. Although the Forest Guard had 7 then because I uh, had fear as well. But the Forest Guard broke and uh, I couldn't pursue them. But it, it was the last turn of, of the game, so it mean, meant I got half the points of that unit and the wizard in, inside. So that, that was nice at least. And in the end here, he had managed to kill everything in my army except the Shaptis. So uh, Ray calculated the points and he got a big win on Witcher points, 1800 point difference, um, resulting in a 15 5. But then I uh, grab the objective, so a 12-8 for me, or for him, uh, so 8 points for, for me, and all things considered, I'm pretty happy with that result. Um, the big mistake I made was, of course, shooting at his Wild Huntsman in that critical turn. Um, thinking about it, uh, we talked a little bit about it afterwards as well, uh, if I hadn't done that, he would have charged them into the front of the Shaptis and the Forest Guard into the flank, and in that combat, I would probably be down to three chapters left, but maybe I would be able to remove the uh, Wild Huntsman at least. And then it would be a grind at a few turns with the Forest Guard, but I would lose it in the end, fairly certainly. Um, the big difference then is that my Bunker would live, and then I would have spells. That would have helped me in the central central combat with the Necropolis card, and he wouldn't have gotten any wild huntsmen into the, their rear, um, which would have made a difference. And also, it would have, would have meant that I didn't have the uh, nice charge target for my chariots in the shape of his force guard. So I pro probably wouldn't have charged there, and then reformed to face my aggressors on the flank. So maybe my chariots would have lived as well. But now we're speculating a, a lot here. Um, but all in all, that was a big, big mistake I made there. Um, really, re really unfortunate, really um, sad that I, I didn't see that. Uh, but um, you live, you learn, hopefully. Um, although I do tend to make those types of, types of mistakes quite a lot, so maybe not. But it, it was a fun game, and I'm really starting to enjoy playing this uh, Undying Dynasties. Uh, the Necropolis Guard block is such a beast in combat. The Shaptis, uh, although they didn't, didn't, didn't do much this turn, they do hit, hit hard, even though they don't tank much. And the Chariots didn't do much in this, ga this game, but um, I have hope, hopes for them at least. So that's um, all for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you on the next one. Cheers!